Kicking things off is Carmelo Hayes, a proverbial five-tool player, to use a sports analogy. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means Hayes is a true, complete athlete competing at the highest levels of the game. Or as he likes to say, Melo don't miss. Expectations are high for this young man. We'll see how he meets them. And with a talent like Dolph Ziggler, we all know the name of the game. Ziggler knows just how good a competitor he is bell to bell, and he's always ready to let everyone know it. The WWE Universe, his competition, Saxton. Hey, I'm well aware just how talented Dolph Ziggler is and how much he likes to let everyone know about it. And up the turnbuckles we go. He has him right where he wants him. Up high. Oh, wait a second. Bang it back with their own. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Oh, there it is. The abdominal stretch. Grabbing the egg. Sharp elbows. And a hip toss to escape. That's mounted with punches. And not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. I oh, on the counter. Looking to catch him off guard. Slips the shoulder up. He is too fresh to have been kept down there. Carefully measured elbow drop, followed by another unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Carmelo Hayes is already well known for running his mouth outside the ring, but more importantly, he's also known for his impressive athletic ability in the ring. That combination of cockiness and the ability to back up can make him quite the formidable opponent. I agree, Cole. That's why you need to just crack Melo right in the mouth. Ooh. Hayes might say he can get down and dirty in the ring, but that's not his go-to style. If you really take the fight to him, it might catch him off guard. He can't let that discourage him. He's got to keep on the offensive. like a potential submission maneuver coming. Oh, there it is, the abdominal stretch. Grabbing the ankle for extra torque. Sharp elbows. And a hip toss to escape. Oh, not what Hayes intended. And he's able to run. Just like that, he said crashing to the floor. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Elbow drop. Piercing. He may be in a bad way here. Doesn't matter how deep we get into a match, Dolph makes things look easy. On track reversal. Clearly waiting for that. Went back into the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. And he tosses it back in now. Great strength being shown here. Oh, right to the throat. Uh-oh, look at this. Bam. Suplex canceled that move. Dolph Ziggler connected with a good shot there. I got all of that one. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. Just like that. Ziggler has this. 
this in hand. No, he beats the count. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. Dalton now has to call upon something else, something that will produce a count of three. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Springboard clothesline. Carmen's carry. Nice takedown. Oh, that unraveled on Dolph. Carmelo putting it all on the line. La La Land looking for the victory. Two. Wow, just barely making it out. The metal, the valor of Dolph Ziggler being tested and shining through the adversity. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. One, two, three. Dolph Ziggler looked impressive here tonight. This kind of win establishes him to the world. An important win for him in this one. This is where Ziggler has to come back and show the world how good he really is. You have to appreciate the unapologetic charm and brazen self-confidence of L.A. Knight. This guy believes he's a certified megastar and acts accordingly. It's certainly something the way Knight struts around. You love him or hate him. You can't deny he's got the build, the skills, and the look of a superstar. I'm sure Knight is planning to win this match in the same stylish manner that he does everything else. And he'll be facing Santos Escobar, who has really taken a new approach to loser tradition. Some even say it's disrespectful that he gave up his match. Definitely a break from tradition, but Santos has his eye on the future. He wants to ensure his heritage is survival, so that means ascending to the highest mountaintop possible. If that means he's got to walk over some bodies to get there, so be it. Does the path to victory for Santos Escobar lie in the more traditional or modern elements of his game? It might actually be both. Escobar possesses a perfect blend of modern and traditional offense. If he wants to win tonight... Up high! Good body! Up the ropes! Uh-oh. Knight was ready for that. Unloads with the boot. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Switches it back around. Gentlemen, suplex. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. It's hard to forget the out. He's going for the pin. He gets his shoulder up before three. At this point in the match, I'm surprised the ref hit two. I think I know what this superstar is going for. A, a muscle buster. No, goodness. Off the ropes. Leg drop. What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. He's taking this to the floor now. Driven into the barricade. Uh-oh. Oh, the barricade gut first. An utterly relentless attack from Escobar. That blend of modern and traditional offense is carrying Escobar into the advantage. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Holy meat. 
the barricade. And Knight is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Now's a chance for Knight to get back into this match. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Really pushing the limit there. As long as you're aware, use as much of the ref's count as you want. Tossed into the corner. Things went from bad to worse. I can only imagine what they have planned here. Actually walking up the, the ropes backwards with a human being on their shoulders. Good bust. And there's the cover. Kicks out. He still has life. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. from Santos. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Oh, uh, reversal catches Santos. Reversal after reversal proving they get the move. The close of this match is just ahead. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. That's disrespectful. way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh! This is a unique application of a hammerlock. Oh, Control. Grabs a hold of Knight. Uh oh. Elbow throw saying not today. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. He returns to the ring. the corner. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. He's returning fire. <laughs> Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Punch lands. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? Cover here! He's able to beat a two count. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. From the top, all the way to the outside. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. There's the torture rack. Racked up, not finished yet. Watch the quickness on this. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Boom, right the button. Carefully placed stop to the arm. An impressive sequence from LA Knight. This can't be how Santos envisioned tonight going. Absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. And now thrown back into the ring. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. What a punch! Knew what was coming there. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Taking a 
trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, my gosh! Gets inside the ring. Taking this to the floor. Knight denies the attack. Set him up for the side rush and leg sweep. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Setting up for something here. Strike, guys. What are we gonna see? BFT! He may get the three count right here! I think so! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Oh, stomping away. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Oh. The confidence of Escobar clearly through the roof. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. No. is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. Knight in a state of distress. Look that Lucha Libre style and power keeping Escobar on top. Oh. <laughs> Escape just in time. With the reversal. And Knight is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Brief sign of adrenaline there for him. Measured knee drop. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. L.A. Knight, with the BFT. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Oh, he gets the shot right before three. Incredible resiliency. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? And attacking above the shoulders has become. That's it. The blood and sweat. 
sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Mrs. Wrestling has returned. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. A win here tonight will reestablish LeRae. Well, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. The HBIC is B-A-C-K. Mia Yim looking to make the most of this opportunity. And from Fontana, California, Michan Mia Yim. She is the baddest of the baddies returning to the WWE to right the wrongs. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two Mae Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. There's a newfound relentlessness with Meechin as of late, isn't there, Corey? Oh, that'd be putting it lightly, Cole. Meechin's realized it's an arduous path from the top of the mountain, and it rarely happens overnight. The HBIC is in it for the long haul and has nothing but business in mind. Meechin with plenty of business to handle tonight. She'll have to contend with the Poison Pixie, though, whose iron has been sharpened all over the world. Candace eats, sleeps, and dreams of wrestling. Wrestling is a fixture in her household. If you are not honing your craft as seriously as the Ray does, the Poison Pixie will make you pay. Followed by the stock. Candace has been competing for a shoulders down. And she kicks out too soon. Change of counters there. Quickly slips for her. German suplex. Oh, from behind. Frankensteiner. Nice. She kicks out at one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Sidekick on the mark. She's taking some big hits here. Shot in the corner of the ring. Oh, that backfired on her. Right across the face. Boom! And a big boot. Uh oh. Man. Candace was waiting on that. Wow, that gets reversed on Lorraine. Uh, 
Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Counter by Candice. Measuring. Oh, face stomp. Double stomp. Oh. Avoiding contact. DDT spiked. Yeah, here they come. Pace is picked up. How is this super stomp doing? Celebrations yet. So much damage inflicted. Oh, God. Watch out. The dive. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Not only does the standing moonsault physically hurt, but it's got to bruise the ego, too. Goblin suplex! Now Mia has the firm upper hand. Candice needs to find a way to grab the reins. Knee right to the jaw. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. The ref still counting, might be a count out. She's showing signs of slowing now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Cha-ching, step up in Zagari. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Whoa. Round and round to the... Satellite DDT. to the midsection, sunset flip. For the win! Quick count out after one. She is still in this fight. Places her right in the corner. She turns it right around with a counter. And she has an answer for Mia. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. That'll destroy a knee. And there's more resiliency for Mia to just keep battling. This matchup's unlucky spot for Candace here. Oh, yeah. With that soul food, will that push things for Mia? Oh, kick out, kick out at two. Candace is hanging tough in this do or die situation. It's harder than it seems to survive and keep alive your dreams. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Incoming! These competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. And a slap, too. Oh, my goodness. A steady stream of moves taking out Lorraine. Yeah, Mia isn't giving any quarter. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, ooh. Creates an opportunity. Spot. 
back to her. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Listen to this, folks. It's electric. <laughs> Cut off with a kick to the gut. Big kick right to the gut. You've got to feel pretty good about yourself. After this win, you cannot question the heart and determination of this superstar. Well said, Byron. I don't think anyone will be questioning that from now on. The ring general Gunther ready to wage war in the ring here. Cole, there are so many metaphors to describe Gunther's abilities in the ring, and he went with the most obvious one. That's what I get for expecting anything more than average from you. That's where Gunther and I are very similar, Cole. We expect everyone to operate on our high level, and anything less is an insult. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long night. And he's facing off against Tyler Bate, who has put his own unique twist on British Strong Style. He's a little young and still a little inexperienced, but he may well be pout. Referee in position. He needs to deal more damage before trying that again. Ooh. Oh, he's Ow. loving blow to that chest. For a master tactician like Gunther, the path to victory couldn't be more obvious. He just has to choose his best strategy and put it into action. If he can do that, I'm sure this match will be going his way. Gunther's strategies have paid off for him in the past. Will it be the same case here in this one? He had it scouted. Big boot! Jeez. And Bate perhaps tripped up by his inexperience there. Gunther used that moment to teach him a very painful lesson. Clubbing blows. An unrelenting assault being brought to Bate. Gunther clearly has a strategy in mind here, and he's putting it into action with decisive attacks. Nicely done. The referee continues. The count may call it soon. And now gets tossed into the ring. Excellent ring IQ to see the ref's count return to the ring in time. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Did you hear that impact? Counters that. Bate was being tested, but shows the resiliency to battle back. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh, oh, oh my God, what impact. And here's a cover. Still no end in sight here. Ooh, sharp elbow. Chop. Drop right across the neck. Bait cuts him off. match off the mat now. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Double underhook suplex. Ooh. Carefully measured knee strikes. Yeah, him with these knee strikes. Some renewed life in him now. Back in the seat. Did you see that? He's getting a little batter now. Tyler Bate finds his target with that one. 
That holds back Bates' attack. Golly, that sounded rough. Quite a bad position here. He moves just in time. Oh, man. Boom. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. into the ring from the floor now. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Here's the Billy Goats. Kurtz is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. I think he's got it. Billy Goats curse is broken. He's been placed in the corner now. Countered in just in time. Look at this going counter for counter. Treading all over their opponent. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Right to the kidneys from behind. Bate with a kick to the gut, double under. Tyler Driver 97. Can Gunther recover from that? He, no way, no way. Gunther is down, but not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. From the middle rope. Just establishing dominance, followed by the stomp. And Gunther now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Gunther has to create an opportunity to retaliate. Oh, uh, Gunther put a stop to that. Lining Tyler Bate up. The ring general. Gunther might just have it. No, my, that was close. I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take. It is just unbelievable. From the top, good lord, taking flight. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors? No, it's going to take more to win this one. You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Swinging the elbow to hold the offense. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And he gets set back into the ring. Does he have him here? Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. Here's a superstar that is seemingly created to be the next big thing in WWE, a natural athlete in the truest sense. She has set her bar quite high early into her career. I think it's a good thing, Cole. You don't become one of the greatest by setting easy goals. Pushing herself is what she's all about. We'll see if she has enough to push to get the victory here tonight. Yeah, but all Dana Brooke does is grind and hustle. Whether it's in the gym, working on her power, or in the ring, working on her abilities. There is no such thing as a wasted day. Dedication is the name of the game for Dana Brooke. If she's not in the ring, she's in the gym. And if she's not in the gym, she's studying film. She has thrown herself forward into the pursuit of excellence and won't allow any speed up to slow her down. Taking flight. 
She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. She had it scouted. Short clothesline hits its mark. And Corey, we know Dana Brooke is all heart, and that can be the toughest thing to overcome. How do you account for that against her? Well, she's not just all heart. She's got power for days, too. The key to stopping Dana is to pull ahead early. Don't put her in a position where she can keep the pace. Fallway slam! Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. What are they going to do here? Leg snap! And again in the other direction. Throws her back in from ringside. No. Running clothesline. Yeah. Ooh, what a forearm club. Yeah. Right. Power slam. And, and will this be it? Stop the ref count before two. Not even a near fall there. Curly against Dana now. And despite Dana Brooks' best efforts, she's having trouble keeping the pace and utilizing that power. Turned that one around. Dana reversing the momentum on her. She was being tested, but now finally gets some offense of her own in. Oh, strong effort. Good decision to roll out here. Was slightly thrown off guard for just a moment. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, pull that slam. Well placed kick. <laughs> She's taking a beating here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Handstand into the elbow drop. Punishment continues. Dropping the elbow. Toss back into the ring. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Close line! Oh! Boom! A forearm smash! Oh, man, by the hair! And whip! I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Oh, it's gonna happen! From the top, swung Tom! That is Dana Brooke reaching for her moment, making all her dedication to excellence pay off. Oh, jarring back elbow. Looks like Dana Brooke has a little swagger in her step tonight. And she denies Dana. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Sequence of reversals there. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead.
keep her down. The answer might be more than her opponent can offer. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. And Dana once again takes on some strong offense. As resilient as Dana is, things do not look good for her here. This disrespectful. Oh, oh, oh. That kick's got the distance. And the momentum's curly against Dana now. It looks like Dana's having trouble coming up with any sort of defense. And a slap, too. And Dana dodges that one. She pulled it off. And in the end, that's all that matters. A triple threat match underway with the opening bell. One more superstar to account for. One more eye to have in the back of your head. Any strategy you might have had going into this match, it's time to throw it out the window. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Into a handstand splash, wow. Connects on the kick. Sent into the corner. Break the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Oh, light suplex. Look at this. Going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Oh, I had that well scouted. Fed's press takes him down. Shut right out of the ring. Looking for a little bit of high. Karen sit on the top rope. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. <laughs> Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Driven down face first. And Corey, a superstar's odds of winning in a triple threat match are significantly less than usual, correct? Well, my Steiner math's a little rusty, but that is my general understanding. Yes, you need to be fully aware of your surroundings to keep your chances up. Targeting the neck. Textbook neck breaker. Strikes with a kick. Boom. That offense taking a toll on her. Heads out of the ring. What's next? I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. She's pushed into the corner. Nice hip toss. Oh, and that will keep Rodriguez at bay. Oh, what a clothesline. 
Not finished just yet. And another. Adding insult to injury a third time. To the back of the neck. Scottish sickle. But sometimes, you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Oh, that'll clean your clock. Oh, claws piercing into the skin. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk. And they're showing us why right now. The pain and punishment really builds in these type of matches. Quest takes him down. We're on the horizon. Oh, knee drop. She's rummaging around under the ring here. And as dangerous as she is, that kendo stick just made her even more so. Bad and the elbow. Triple down. Kendo stick impact. Wait to see it clear. A uh, submission, the gory spat, she breaks the hold.
Here is your winner, Lacey Evans. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. And if you ask that superstar right there, she simply wanted it more than the other two tonight. I don't know how true that is, but she certainly made a statement.